part by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTS to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. To do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. I'm from Clots Productions, and welcome back to Game 2 of the match between Solar Control and Glissa Ramp. I took a Mulligan down to 5 for this game and started on the play with a Forest. Noah then played an Evolving Wilds, then I laid down a Woodland Cemetery and cast a Viridian Emissary. Then at the end of the turn, Noah sacrificed his Wilds to search for an island. Noah just played a Plains on his next turn, and then I took him to 18 with my Emissary. Then post-combat, I resolved to Glissa the Traitor. Noah played a Pristine Talisman on his turn, and then I attacked with my two creatures, dropping him to 13. I then laid down a swamp and played a Memoricide, naming Sun Titan. I searched his library and dug out three Sun Titans, not realizing there was actually a fourth one in there. Noah used his Talisman to go up to 14 at the end of my turn. He then laid down a Ghost Quarter and cast a Gideon Jura and then used him to kill my Glissa. I then attacked his Gideon with my Emissary, taking it down to two loyalty. Then post-combat, I resolved a Silvok Replica. Then before his turn, I sacrificed the Replica to destroy his Talisman. It didn't really matter though, because he just played a second one, and then went up to 16, casting a third one. He then forced attacks on his Gideon again, so I just attacked it with my emissary, dropping it back to 2 loyalty. Then at the end of the turn, Noah went up to 17. Noah then went to 19 to cast an Elish Norn Grand Cenobite and kill my emissary, so I searched for a swamp. He then animated his Gideon and attacked for 8, dropping me to 12. I used to sever the bloodline to exile his Norn, and then he animated his Gideon and attacked again, dropping me to 6. I didn't draw any instant speed removal on my next turn, so I was dead on board and went ahead and scooped it up, giving Noah the win to the game and the match. So that's it for this match. I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version of this gameplay in the annotations at the end, along with links to my vlog and my Let's Play Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. If you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online.